it's Scott here from Digital Puppets with another quick tips tutorial video for all of you Adobe character animators out there. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can rig additional expressions into your puppet. To help me with this, I'm going to use this digital puppet we made a while ago called Bryzilla. And as you can see below, she has a, a wide array of expressions. So let's just go through some of them. She's got puzzled. Um, I'll call that the Rick and Morty look. Grinning, happy, mad, sad, happy, surprised, unimpressed, suspicious. And then also, so those um, triggers have eyes, mouth, lots of different elements of the face added together, grouped together. But I've also got triggers for just the eyes alone, so crying. Blinking and then um, triggers for just the mouths on their own. Right, so let's get over to rig mode and see how this is done. First of all, the mouths. Um, I like to put them in neutral. So you got your normal vitamins here A, D, E, F, L, M, and so on. And then anything additional. So here you see I've created confused, uh, dumbfounded, green, happy, mad, uh, sad, unimpressed. What I do, so you've got your mouth and then you've got your neutral. So normally neutral is just, you know, your sitting resting position mouth. But that's where I like to put all of my extra expressions. Now the reason is, if, especially if you're performing live, if you're talking and then you press the small button um, trigger, whichever way you decide to trigger it, whether that's a button on your keyboard, a foot pedal or a TV um, touchscreen, if you press, for example, smile or angry, and um, so you've got your character there, he's looking angry, and then you carry on talking, that mouth is going to be stuck on angry, and then you're going to be talking, and it's just going to look rubbish. So the reason I put it in neutral is that once you start talking, that will override the expression that you've got triggered. So even if you've got it on angry, once you start talking, you'll see your mouth moving. Um, so there's one quick little tip for you. Right, so, so there you go, that's dead simple. You got your mouths in your neutral file, drag in all these other expressions and then right click on here and create swap set. And then as you can see over here on the left hand side of the screen, that brings in all your mouths and then you can drag that over, one second. Drag that over into your control panel and then you will see all your mouths show up. I'll show why it's good to have it in a swap set in a moment. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. Also, you can add in other expressions for other parts of the face, such as the eyelids, the eyebrows. Now on this character, you'll also see for her eyelids, so I've got cry, happy, narrow, um, sad. So let's have a quick look at how I've got mine set up. So there's your left eye. Um, layer and then I've got lid, I've got the pupil layer and I've got the eyeball layer and in the lid layer I'll create a default and in default I've got my default eye and then just like I did with the mouth with the neutral I add in all the extra ones and again I right click and I create a swap set then just right click and again create a swap set and then you can bring that in whoop, over here or now what you gotta remember here is so as you'll see if I click on like cry you'll see that I've got both the left eye and the right eye so you gotta go down to your other eye your right eye in this case and then so you would um, you'd already have cry from the left because that's what you made the swap set and then the right one you'll have to drag in and then happy sad drag that in there happy close drag that in there and so forth and then so that's for your um, if you want to individually trigger the eyelid or individually trigger the mouth but if you want them all to work together so when you want the character to look angry you want an angry eyes and you want an angry mouth you can then what you can do is press this little plus symbol create a swap set press enter on it let's call it expressions You'll see that I've already done this above, but I'm just showing you how to do it. And then press the plus again, 
create new trigger and let's call that um, cry and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on cry there control click on cry in the other eye control and pick whichever mouth you want to go with the cry um, let's pick I don't know sad and then you drag all of them over into that trigger there and then you'll drag all of those over into the control panel now let's go back into record and we'll see how that looks right so let's just make this larger for a second here is a line for the swap set for all my eyelids and this is the swap set for all my mouths and this one at the top is my swap set for all the expressions where I bunched all the different mouths and eyelids together so that's, um, there's your character Whoop. and when I click on the expression one so confused you can see that she's got her mouth is looking confused her eyelids are looking unhappy um, what's this one here happy again happy eyelids happy mouth angry she's got a uh, demon eyes there and a angry mouth and there's one other um, extra bonus for adding all these into a swap set and that is in the timeline so here's another little time saving uh, tip for you right so let's pick um, one of our expressions let's go for confuse I'm going to hold my finger down on there and then I'm going to press control and 2 and that's given me a that's recorded two frames and now I'm going to zoom in Oh, for some reason it hasn't um, done the, doesn't matter let's just right click and you'll see here are all the expressions that we've um, put into the um, expression swap set so right, let's pick uh, confused and make that a bit bigger and let's first um, and if for any reason you wanted to change so you know she started off let's pretend she started off confused might just a bit bigger so let's say she started off confused about something and then once she realizes she gets really mad I'm gonna press control and alt together and that's gonna give me this little cut symbol and I'm gonna cut that frame there and then I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna change it now to mad because she started off confused and then she gets mad so as you can see confused and then it goes into the mad mode and that's just a quick tip for how to do things more quickly on your timeline because if you've got all your expressions as individual triggers you're gonna have to um, drop them all in individually whereas when you've got them all in one swap set you can put the parent um, layer as long as you want to the whole scene you know to the whole length of the animation and then you can literally go along and you can drop in all the different triggers wherever you want and you can do the same thing for any other swap set so if you just want to control your mouth or you just want to control your eyelids they are all there to individually trigger anyway so that is just my Quick tips on how you can add extra expressions to your character, where to put them, and also how you can do things a little bit faster on the timeline by adding them all into swap sets. If you have any questions, if any of this wasn't clear, just drop them in the comments below. And if you have any questions about Adobe Character Animator or any suggestions for our next tutorial video, again, just leave a comment below. Right, thanks for watching and we'll make more soon. Bye.